How's it going, everybody? Storm and Graffiti here. Welcome back to another SG4 Bloody Hell reaction. I'm reacting to the remastered episode of Chapter 1, Episode 3, that is called specifically, Your Friend is a Predator. Now, this actually makes for an interesting question. So, out of the friends we have, who is said predator? I'm, if I remember, I believe it was three... I know Mintyford is a predatorian, but I'm thinking it's likely going to be... Th Sir Three, because if I remember, like after what happened with the corruption, I think he was being turned into a predatorian. Again, I I'm trying to understand the best I can. I think I've got it down, though. Or I could just be batshit wrong and you guys can uh, explain that to me. <laughs> but also, we have not seen uh, Tari yet. And again, I know we're probably gonna. She could potentially be the predatorian. Honestly. I haven't seen much about her, despite me keeping track of the episode, so... I don't know, maybe we'll get to see more of her in this episode? I don't know. That being said, I guess let's see what happens and get on with the reaction in 3, 2, 1. Honestly, still a solid intro. Here we go. SMG4 Bloody Hell. The suffering of the crew. At the very least, at least you got to keep the symbol or the the Ike the title. At least she didn't. At least she didn't have to change that. All right, let's see what you got here. Right. So when we left off, Brutal was dealing with the trauma. Okay, apparently it's dinner time. We're gonna be eating spaghetti, sardines, a waffle, and Thora Maggie gets nothing. Sir Three, why are you not eating? I'm not hungry. Thora, finished? I am. I wonder what she ate. Brother. Hmm. Nope. I see Starry's gotten a lot derpier. It's kind of adorable with all the stickers on his face. Man, Brutal is still gone? How much time has passed since he left? Set three, your partner still isn't here. Quit waking me up. I'm having my beauty sleep here. Mm. Whatever. Oh dear. Uh oh, who's that? Ah, Prudel. So he's by himself for now. I really need a break. I can't take a break because of my worries. And it's so quiet here. I'm starting to love it. And now you're hungry. Or... Is it someone else that's hungry? What was that? Was that you, Starry? Are you playing pranks on me again? Okay, I think I, I think that's not you. Lord, please help me. Don't tell me Minty is here. If I did something wrong to deserve this, I'm truly sorry. Forgive me. Please forgive me. I don't want to die yet. Please. I'm truly sorry and hungry because it's your stomach growling. Yeah. Uh, it was my stomach girl. Yes. Uh, I wonder what to eat. There's probably... I don't know. You could probably eat Sir Three's waffle. I never heard you squeaked before. Can you do it again? Aw. <laughs> Too silly. 
I mean, that is pretty adorable. In a weird way, I guess. By the way, who ate his dinner? Uh... Did you serve me one? No, there's no food on the plate. Uh-oh, you're in trouble. Oh crap, he's gonna snap. It's okay, I'm not mad. I'm just overthinking and very hungry. Oh, please don't start, like, cannibalizing someone. Thora. Maggie Thora Spletzer. Did you serve him a meal? No. Uh oh. Oh crap. Take mine. Yeah, I was gonna say, take three's waffle. Or crumpet, or whatever that is. Jeez. Right, so we still haven't gotten to the part about Predatorians. Come on, Lodum. <sighs> this man needs to calm down. I mean, w was it Thora's job to get the food for everybody? What? Seriously? They're still conscious? Ah! Minty. Who is he calling on that phone? Does that phone even work? Apparently it does. Is that... My dear folk, how is it going now? Goodness, you won't believe it, boss. It's going really crazy. Boss? Uh, what happened? I already captured so many Prayans, but I found out this one Prayan escaped my trap and set one of the Prayans free. Oh god, don't tell me. If you know who are they, or who they are, please quickly tell me. It's the crew, that foolish crew, the crew where Brutal is in it. Bloody hell crew? Impossible, how powerful are they? I was expecting you to be one of the powerful Predatorians. Like, I already saw you capture the weak Prayan so easily. How the statics did one of them avoid your power? That crew is one of the top ten powerful Prayan groups. There's no way to defeat it. Don't worry, folk. We'll be planning now to take their magic ability away so that we can take over their town. Like you are already teaming up with me, you can try to steal their power after you capture them. I'll be the one earning those stars to grow powerful, too. Well, I see you as a best friend than just an evil teammate. But anyway, always remember, we will plan how to take over Gardopia someday. Did you still have time to capture those brats? Hmm. Right, so he works for someone. Tore the crew apart one by one. Oh dear. Alright, so we're all here. What made you sound silly? Oh well, because I am happy! Right, viewers? I bet you guys do remember that I burned down the old castle in the official series. Yes, I remember that. Do I even remember crashing into the milk factory too? Just get a milk? This is this song. The creator Mendoza got this song as my theme song. Alright, off you go and continue watching. Interesting fourth wall break there. <laughs> What? Did I stutter too much? So is that his power for wall breaking? What was that? I think it's Minty. Be careful, Starry. It's we. 
weird. Why do I not remember any? I remember watching these episodes. But yet this feels completely new. It's nothing at all. Oh no. I guess we're si No, no. Shit, I... I knew it. I knew he was going to get caught. Run, I'll handle this. Oh no. Oh, is Mar... Is Mario gonna be the Predatorian, or...? Right, new Twitter accounts by them. A new upcoming character in the chapter. Interesting. So yeah, a lot of things are changing. I was wondering why things were so different. Again, yeah, I figured things would be similar enough for me to recognize, but a lot has changed. So, this character... It looks like a 4 character, like an SMG4, a model, but I'm trying to, I don't, I can't really tell what's going to be. It looks like it's wearing a bandana of some kind. Starry's Mario theme song is it called Extinct Star. Interesting, I'm glad someone made a, a theme song for one of your characters. Hmm. Right, so the pacing in this is a lot slower than before. So, again, we're we're all trapped in the safe spots. We all got a bunch of food. Brutal finally came back from his break. Of, like, trying to build up his sanity to deal with what's happening. And it seems like, again, he's really still shaken up at what, what Minty did to him. And also, we have now seen that Starry got captured, which is starting to make me think that maybe Starry is going to turn into the Predator, or maybe the Predator, quote-unquote, is whatever has Starry. It could be Minty Fruit, it could be Minty Fruit's boss, which I don't rem I remember Minty Fruit works for someone, I but as for who, I don't remember at all. Honestly, watching these three episodes has been interesting for me, because I've watched them... Um, all together, obviously. There are going to be seven episodes, but not the point. The point is, after watching all three of them, it does feel like, like again, the characters are recognizable, but the story feels different, almost to the point where, like, I, like it's, again, it's a new experience, which honestly can serve as a potentially good idea. I, I'm sorry if I don't remember a lot of what happened. It's been a long time, and I have been super busy with work and life. As well as trying to get things sorted out, but I always have had so this series in the back of my mind occasionally, and it has been pretty interesting. Right, so again, so we see that there's a bit of confliction between all the characters, mainly with Lodum and Thora. So I'm guessing, again, like Lodum is almost like the second in command almost, where. Brutal's supposed to be the leader. And then we have, again, Star 3, we got Thora, we got Starry. So Starry's the comic relief, which makes sense. Mario's always been the comic relief. With the, with the like, stickers on the face and the squeak sound and just the straight-up fourth wall break that he did. <laughs> which actually was pretty funny. Now, Thora seems like the more compassionate character where she tries to care. Seems like a, a little airheaded, I guess. Just like she makes like simple mistakes, like she forgot to feed Brutal some food that they had. It's kind of interesting. But I am curious what new character we're going to be getting in the series when the time comes. I guess I'll have to wait until next week to see when that happens. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I hope you guys will support BKN14 and the Bloody Hell series, even though it's been remade. And with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!